Can you discuss any community involvement or charity work that your company is involved in, or if that's even something that's important to consider as a community-based business? What would be the pros and cons when considering this? I'm assuming this is for Scott. Gotcha. So we've done a couple of things, um, and, and yeah, we're pretty pretty excited to continue doing them. We we try to we try to make it a point to do something to our community uh, at least once a year, something of significance. Um, last year, we got with um, one of the counties we we service, one of our home counties, and uh, we found a, a foster family that was really just doing some great things with inside the community for no reward. Um, they, they were, they're just the go-to people. So if there's a kid that's in trouble, they can just show up at this house. Like it, it really hit home for me and really um, touched a nerve, I guess you would say. And so we ended up, we were offering, we offered the County, if you find us somebody, we'd like to roof somebody's home. We don't want to talk about it. We're not, advertising it we know how delicate this is we just want to do it like we know these people are freaking killers in their own right and they're really doing great things we just want to give them something like here's here's something nice right this house needed siding it needed soffit fascia gut like it was just it was just time right and when you're having 30 some kids a year in and out of a home okay that's what i'm talking about these people were like saints right just just whoever could needed a place to sleep they'd, they'd house them you ain't got time for that like and you don't have the funds especially so anyhow we just did the whole damn thing just from freaking top to bottom the whole exterior brand new and uh you know again we, we didn't want to do anything we've done stuff for for veterans we we done that a couple of times we used to do it through facebook we do a free roof for a veteran again we've never publicized it. And, and thankfully we actually have some really great relationships with ABC and GAF. They don't even ask us to, you know, and we don't, I know a lot of people and we will at some point, a lot of people like to take that, promote the hell out of it, big banner outside, do the whole nine. We're not doing it for that. We're doing it because we're, we're fortunate and, and we, we love our community and, and um, you know, we want to help people. Like it's not, it's there's to us it's more personal than a than a banner and some bullshit to uh get some clicks on facebook so um not to say we don't promote it a little bit but it's it we don't go go into that we don't want it to be personal we just want people to know hey we're helping our community you know throw throw people to us that, that could use our help let us help them. that's awesome that's awesome do you think do you think the companies that, you know, yeah, I like, I like that you you guys don't really are not, it's not like you're, you know, waving like, Hey, look at us. This is what we're doing. Um, do you think that could be maybe more negative than positive when companies do that? Or do you think it's just a, a decision that you've made? I think it's a decision I've made. Um, I don't think it's negative. I think, I think you should be proud of, cause at the end of the day, Hey, you did it for nothing. Like, even if you promote it, I've got nothing against anybody that does that. Like that to me, that's not, you're not a shitty person because you did it. You're still a fantastic person because you, you did a, you did the roof. You did a good thing. Like you did a good deed. Um, and we are in business and, and promoting is part of business. Like I, like I have, I have zero negative things to say about people that do that. I think, I think you should do it in my little tight knit community. I don't have to promote it. Everybody knows, you know what I'm saying? Like they see us doing it. They it got through the grapevine. We, we, it gets back to us. So we know that it gets out. We, we don't need to promote it. It just gets around. You do the right thing. People, people pay attention. Yeah. So not to derail that entire statement. Cause I, I do agree with where your head is there. Um, uh, Edward asked a bit about community involvement and charity work. There's, I guess there's two parts of, of this question. Community involvement can definitely include like sponsoring like a, a little league baseball team or participating in a Founders Day parade or um, chamber event. Um, I think that th those are all great things that are relatively low cost. It shows, hey, I want to be part of this community that this business is 
is part of this community um, and it can 100% one, help the business and two, give back to the people in need. Absolutely. I think you're spot on with that. And I think going into, we've, we've had this discussion, you and I, Jen, about yeah. going into these newer markets and, and taking advantage of these opportunities that are put in front of us, like the little league teams and the soccer teams and, yeah. and which we do uh, a significant amount of that already, but, but yeah, no, you're exactly right. That's a whole nother, whole nother line of, of community, I guess. Right. I mean, you're, you're still giving back, but in, in return to, to buying a bunch of jerseys and, and gear for kids that can't afford it, uh, now you're getting awareness in the community that you're trying to grow your brand in. So yep. everybody eats in that situation. Um, not to not to make it about the numbers, because it's not. But Jonah, from your experience, is there any is there ways that you're you've been you've found to be able to kind of track um, track that? Like, are you able to like when when people come to you guys, do you and they you ask them, hey, how'd you hear about us? Do they say, oh, it was the little little league, league shirts? Yeah, sure. So your CSR can absolutely ask those questions. And I would say nine times out of 10, that's not going to be very accurate. If you want a surefire way to like track some results from there, maybe do like a call tracking number. You can have like a vanity number that for every call you get, you know, it's coming directly from that specific piece that relates to any sort of print material. Uh, I think in, in, hopes of just general brand awareness i think that it's it's a good opportunity to get in front of more people but i think it's something like a like the billboards we're working on scott it's more of just uh awareness getting your brand in front of people and it's, it's something you have to pay for with without expecting a quantified return 